This comic is rated R for violence, but no nudity. But I still like it. Now available in paperback at e mirrors Isis, Dark Incubus. The goddess next door gets enthralled in a romantic entanglement with an evil Incubus in this all-new Isis series adventure. Get your copy of Isis, Dark Incubus in paperback and e-readers today. I've got a few comics that came in from Kickstarters that I put pledges in from earlier this year. And I'll be doing reviews of those comics over the next couple of Tuesdays and Saturdays and hope to get all those comics shared with you guys all out here. Now, I just got this fourth issue of Bobby Joe and the Appalachian Alien Apocalypse, and this fourth issue is absolutely fantastic because there's less focus on T and A and more on S and S, and that S and S stands for st story and substance. Now, this whole fourth issue of Bobby Joe and the Appalachian Alien Apocalypse is more focused on developing the overall storyline and developing more of the characters in Bobby Joe's life as we learn more about the aliens and their reasons for coming to Earth. Now, in this fourth issue of Bobby Joe and the Appalachian Alien Apocalypse, we don't see a lot of that R-rated nudity and violence that I like in many of my R-rated comics, but we see more compelling storytelling that really reminds me a lot of the 1979 films Alien and the film Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And the storytelling here is just absolutely compelling from first page to last in a comic I consider to be one of the best comics of 2024. Now, Bobby Joe and the Appalachian Alien Apocalypse fourth issue really does a great job of building on the storyline that was set up from the first three issues, but also further develops the storyline and comes to what I believe to be a powerful conclusion of a major plot point and basically closes what I believe to be the first or second act of this overall storyline because the twist and turns in this fourth issue basically again draw develop the story of these aliens and their motives for coming to earth and their reasons to wreaking havoc in this small Appalachian town and I'd have to say that Scott Wilkie and Michael Main have done a fantastic job of writing the story and putting together the art. I mean, both of them have done a great job of really capturing a mood of a town uh, as related to, again, an alien situation and basically give us a beautiful world that basically shows us this small town as it deals with this whole issue of aliens and these aliens looking to wreak havoc in this small town. So we get a great picture of that life and a great picture of that story in Bobby Joe and the Appalachian Alien Apocalypse's fourth issue. And I have to say, everything does a great job of setting a mood and really get, letting us get to know more of these characters and their story. Now, this story starts out focusing on more of the supporting characters in this story, where we've got the cult leader who's holed up with Bobby Joe's dad, and as they're holed up, as Bobby Joe is on a quest to basically deal with the situation as related to this escalating conflict between the aliens and humans, we see that both of these guys are basically trying to cope with the situation, with the cult leader coping with some weed and some alcohol, and the father just basically sitting there like a bit of a vegetable, and as he's sitting there like a bit of a vegetable, again, this scene does a great job of contrasting the action between Bobby Joe and her deputy friends who are driving in an El Camino and dealing with these aliens who are chasing them. Again, great visuals here as related to the art from, um, from Scott Wilkie. Again, fantastic art. Really, again, feels more like a movie 
feels like a one of those big budget movies everything is just again really well done here and we get this whole sequence and they're trying to get people out of town as they're dealing with this whole situation as related to these aliens and their threat and as they're dealing with these aliens and their threat we got Bobby the deputy and Merle basically again trying to deal with this whole situation and as they're dealing with this situation we're starting to learn more about these aliens and learning more about the family and as we learn more about things I don't want to give away too much of this comic but I'll just say that you know Bobby Joe and the Appalachian alien apocalypse there's a lot of great twists and turns in this whole story and one of these twists comes on page 11 a major plot twist as the one of the motherships show up and it basically ties into Bobby Joe's family. That's all I'm going to give you as related to things because I don't want to spoil this comic. I don't want to spoil this comic for readers. No, I don't want to spoil this comic because with this, this part of the story, again, it's very compelling. And again, I don't want to be able to take, take away from your experience when you go out here and pick up your issue of Bobby Joe and the Appalachian Alien Apocalypse. No, I don't want to take away from your experience as related to this comic, and I want you to experience how great this comic is and how compelling the storytelling is with this with this whole comic. Now, Bobby Joe's book had started out with a lot of flash in the beginning as related to how sexy Bobby Joe is, but what really makes this book really compelling is the substance that many bad girl comics don't have because one of the things that a lot of comic book writers who go out here and write bad girl comics they focus more on the jiggle and the sizzle instead of giving us the steak and the substance but I'll give Mike, give Scott Wilkie and Michael Main a, a, a applause because they did give us that substance and gave us a strong heroine who has that strength of character and that strength of character enables her to kick as much butt as Ripley did in the first Alien movie that led to her become Sigourney Weaver becoming an icon and Ripley becoming an icon of strong heroine characters. And Bobby Joe is one of those great strong heroine characters from what I've seen in this comic that would really do well on the screen. I mean, I could easily see an actress like Scarlett Johansson basically nailing this role in her prime or I could see some young unknown actress basically taking this character to another level. I could see another a, a young actress taking this role to another level and I could see that actress basically coming out here and really again doing something great with this role because I could see this whole storyline becoming a great movie. I mean, everything here is absolutely fantastic from first page to the last, and everything on the last couple of pages of this comic will have you anticipating picking up the next issue, have you eager to go out here and pick up that next issue, and eager to go out here and drop some money on that next comic, because that's what I'm going to do. I definitely want to be there when Bobby Joe number five winds up dropping on Kickstarter. When Bobby Joe number five drops on Kickstarter, I want to be able to pick up that comic and put in a pledge for it because this story is so good that I really want to, again, see more people pick it up, head over to Bad Bug and pick up the Bobby Joe comics. That's why I'm making this comic review video because I see many people on comics YouTube they love to complain about how bad comics are and how the state of the industry is terrible. However, they pass by many great comics. They pass by so many great comics like Bobby Joe. They basically ignore these books and they ignore these books because it doesn't fit their narrative as related to their culture war against the social justice warriors who are basically running comics and social media straight into the ground and they don't want to talk about these comics, but I want to talk about these comics. And again, because I want to talk about these comics, I want to share these comics with you. And I want to be able to share these comics with you so that you can see that there are still great comics being made by independent comic creators like the team at Bad Bug. 
Midnight, who have done a, grand, a, a fantastic job on Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe's fourth issue continues the momentum of a great story, and I really want to see more readers pick up these comics. That's one of the reasons why I continue to make these comic review videos, even though these are some of the lowest viewed videos on this channel. I continue to still make these videos because I want to see you be able to pick, find, and discover these comics. I want to see you be able to continue to discover these great comics and continue to try to pick up and support the work of many of these great independent comic creators because, again, there are so many great comics out there, but they just don't get any sort of word of mouth from many of the bigger YouTube channels. I mean, many of these comics YouTubers will sit there and go on rants about social justice, or they'll start attacking each other. Meanwhile, they sit here and ignore great comics like Bobby Joe. They basically pass by these comics by these independent comic creators and don't give them any press. I mean, if these guys had sat there and spoke out about these comics, they would basically help some of these creators, again, get the word out about their stories. And that could have basically helped the comic book industry. But many of these individuals are selfish and greedy and don't care about comics. But I care about comics because this is the medium that I learned how to read when I was four years old. And with this being the medium I learned to read when I was four years old, I really want to see more people picking up great comics, picking up great comics and great stories that feature really well-developed characters like Bobby Joe and see this fantastic world of great characters. I mean, comics are not just Marvel and DC, so that's something that means something to me. That's why I go out here and look to support many independent comic creators who are putting out great work. I want to support those independent comic creators, and I want you to discover these great comics, discover these great comics, and continue to support these great creators who are putting in that great work because when I read Bobby Joe again, I was floored about how fantastic the digital edition is. I bought the paper copy, but I, I just couldn't wait to get this review out. And I couldn't wait to get this review out because this, this story is just getting better and better with each passing issue. And I want you to get on board with this comic, get on board with one of the best comics of 2024, and be able to support one of the best comics of 2024 because when it comes to comics, I want to be able to get them in the hands of readers. And that means a lot to me. And that's why I continue to support great comics like Bobby Joe. And Bobby Joe is one of the best comics of 2024. And once you've read one, this fourth issue, you'll definitely be coming back for more in 2025. Now, if you want to check out my first full comic, John Haynes at Death Store, you can find that comic on lulu.com in paperback and in paperback format and you can get a digital edition on amazon.com now i'm working on trying to get a paperback version on amazon but amazon's formatting is a bit of a nightmare not to mention kdp lately has become filled with a lot of book snobs which basically make it hard to get stuff published on an independent publishing platform and it's a bit of a nightmare over there these days because you got people thinking that they're going to be big stars in publishing, but they don't understand that, again, 90% of books fail. And that when it comes to print-on-demand publishing, it's about you making the money off the authors and not really about the sales as related to the customers that much. I mean, when it comes to books, again, 90% of books fail and the on independent platforms, but the whole thing is it just is a bit of a nightmare working over there these days with the formatting and stuff. So I'm still trying to get that formatting taken care of as related to um, John Haynes at Death's Door. And I'm also working on other books in the SJS Direct Universe catalog, and I'll be talking about them in an upcoming video. Now, again, in addition to John Haynes at Death's Door, you can get a scheme, No Good Deed, in Kindle format for just 99 cents. And those are the two comics that I've done, and I would love to do more comics in the future, but I just got to get the money together. But until then, you can pick up the prose versions of the SJS Direct Universe books in the Isis series, the Steam series, the John Haynes series, 
the books of the Spinsterella trilogy, and my vampire novel Eternal Night, you can find all of those books in paperback and Kindle format on Amazon.com and other online booksellers like draft the digital Google Play, Barnes & Noble, and Big Box retailers like Walmart and Target. And if you'd like to see me be able to continue to support many more independent comic creators and be able to help get the word out about their work, you can help me be able to continue to support many other independent comic creators, Kickstarters, and Indiegogos by dropping a donation on the Patreon, the PayPal, or the Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this comic review video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and e-readers, a steam horror in the Hamptons. The aspiring angel tries to escape a house of horrors in this action-packed all-new Esteem series adventure. Get your copy of Esteem Horror in the Hamptons in paperback and e-readers at online booksellers everywhere. Now available in paperback and e-readers, John Haynes, Godbreaker. The man who rules the world takes on the Asgardian God of Thunder in this action-packed all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get your copy of John Haynes Godbreaker in paperback and e-readers at online booksellers everywhere. Now available in paperback and e-readers, e-steam cancel vacation. Hell's aspiring angel takes on a social justice social media mob looking to cancel her in this all-new e-steam series adventure. Get e-steam cancel vacation in paperback and e-readers today. Support Black-owned and Black-operated digital broadcast media, www.niceradionetwork.com. Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.